wisdom to look deeper. Greetings, fellow intergalactic travelers. I'm Nevarius, and I heard you wanted to venture out into space with a new species. Well, today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to show you the new features of Stellaris' Aquatics Species Pack. Stellaris already has an amazing amount of species to use, like robots, humanoids, and necroids. And with the Aquatic Species Pack, it finally fills the void of marine creatures by introducing the new ocean-based species with which you can colonize the universe. Not only one, but a whopping 15 forms of aquatic life forms are ready for the galactic plunge. Whether you want to play as dolphinoids or some rather mysterious glowing deep sea entity, that's entirely up to you. And because dolphins can build robots too, there's also robotic themes aquatic life form available. As an aquatic species, you must choose your origin, where you're coming from, who do you worship. The first origin is the ultimate aquatic start, Ocean Paradise. Here you start on a chunky size 30 planet filled with a plentiful bounty of resources, the ultimate paradise to build massive cities to jumpstart your economy. When combined with the new aquatic trade and boosted by the new hydrocentric ascension perk, it gives you a significant advantage over the dangers of the universe. Not only do you start on a paradise, no, you are surrounded by euphoric boosted ocean dolphins. You want to keep your friends close, but your sea anomaly is even closer. The paradise seems too bright and you need to cover your marine eyes? Then choose the more mysterious Here Be Dragon's origin. Since time immemorial, this civilization has shared its star system with a formidable dragon, O. Roscar, a mysterious creature that roams your home system and protects you in troubled times. But how does this relationship evolve? Will you keep the dragon satisfied or will you neglect him and feel the wrath of the ether drake upon yourself? I've already mentioned that you can combine your origin with traits to boost your species even higher. But what are those new traits you may ask, Commander? Well, the first attribute your dolphinoids can possess is also the most fundamental one, the aquatics. A new zero point cost species trait. While it is not bound to aquatic species only, it will require you to start on an ocean world. This trait gives you a tremendous boost when living on wet worlds, such as ocean or tropical planets. However, on dry lands, you are like a fish out of the water and face penalties such as increased housing usage. The new angler's civic should help you utilize nature's bounty. This society provides for itself a stable influx of economic value, which means that an ocean world's agriculture districts are uncapped. Yes, completely uncapped and endlessly available. In addition, on the wet worlds, it replaces farmers with anglers that produce not only eight food each, but also to trade value, and it reduces the cost of minerals for these districts too. Wet climate walls are also provided with pearl divers that produce consumer goods and trade value. On top of all of that, for the first time introduced in a species pack, there's a new ascension perk, Hydrocentric. Once you finish a tradition group, you no longer shall settle for just good enough. No planet shall be deemed fit for colonization until it has been thoroughly changed to the ways you live. This new perk provides a massive reduction to terraforming costs of minus 25%, so you can make every planet into the juicy paradise your dolphinoids deserve. When combined with the aquatic trade, your species gains another 50% benefit on ocean walls. But be aware, penalties for living on non-wet walls are likewise amplified. The hydrocentric perk also unlocks the new ice mining station on star bases to transport all the ice of the universe to your ocean paradises and increases the size of your planet by one. If you live underwater, raising the sea level can be quite useful. Not only a new station is unlocked, but also a new colossus weapon, the deluge, built to unleash a massive watery wave upon your enemies. Not only does a galactic species need space stations to transport ice to the home worlds, but also its own fleet to traverse, explore and conquer. The aquatic species pack introduces a new water-themed ship set. From the simplest of construction ships to juggernauts that wreak havoc on hostile forces, you are equipped with only the latest of watery high-tech. So to summarize, the sea will consume us all while an ancient old god floats above us. Thanks for watching, the next tutorial will be about the new free 3.2 features, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. See you in the Galactic Council.